macOS Tahoe 26.1 is out and the internet is buzzing. After a rocky 26.0 launch full of lag, high idle power, and GPU leaks, Apple dropped this update on November 3rd, 2025, and users are saying it's smoother, lighter, and more efficient than ever. Today, we're diving into real user feedback. No Apple PR, no hype, just what people are actually experiencing on M1, M2, M3, and M4 Max. From 8GB base models to high-end M4 Max, here's what 26.1 really feels like in daily use. First, context. macOS 26.0 was rough. Stage manager on idle, GPU usage through the roof. Fans spinning at 65 degrees Celsius just from transparency effects. Animation stuttered, pinched to spotlight, pop-up previews and share sheets, even scrolling heavy pages. 8GB Macs felt like they were drowning. One user said, liquid glass is a huge trade-off. My M2 Pro fans spin at idle just because of transparency. But 26.1? That's where things get interesting. A big win in this version was idle power is way down. Users report GPU usage and stage manager now near zero. CPU cores hitting zero megahertz when idle? That's deep sleep, not just low clock. One M4 mini owner, wattage lower than Sequoia levels. M3 Pro users say fans barely spin anymore, even with liquid gloss on. Was the UI speed smoother than Sequoia? Animations are snappier. Four finger pinch to open spotlight, instant. Pop-up previews and share sheets, no more jank. Stage manager transitions, finally smooth. One user said, it feels lighter and more responsive, even better than Sequoia on my M1 Air. Mission control still has minor stutters on heavy loads, but daily use, night and day versus 26.0. M1 and 8GB Max still kicking. 8GB RAM models were hit hardest in 26.0, but 26.1? On M1 Air, 8GB, way better than 26.01. Multitasking is back. With M1 Pro, Photoshop plus Capture One runs without a hitch. Even base M1 Mini, fewer stumbles, SSD writes faster. Not perfect, heavy web pages can still lag, but usable again. One user said, I was ready to wipe and go back to Sequoia, now I'm staying. Want max performance? Clean install. Users who wiped and reinstalled 26.1 report, feels like a new Mac, snappier than updating over 26.0. The big question, leave Sequoia? Stay on Sequoia if you edit 4K video, run Xcode, or need rock solid stability. 8GB and heavy multitasking. You hate liquid glass, it's still a resource hog. Update to 26.1 if you want the new design and AI features. If you have 16GB plus RAM, and you already tried 26.0 and hated it, 26.1 fixes most pain. One user, Sequoia still holds the crown for stability, but 26.1 is promising. Verdict, macOS 26.1 is a comeback. GPU leaks, fixed. Animations, smoother. M1, 8GB, usable again. But Sequoia, still king for power users. Before you update, back up with Time Machine, check your RAM usage and activity meter, try 26.1 in a VM or on a secondary Mac. If you're updating, do it now. 26.1 is the most stable Tahoe yet. What's your experience? Drop a comment. Still on Sequoia? Loving 26.1? Regret updating? Like if this helped, subscribe for more Real Talk Mac OS updates. Next, 26.2 rumors. Peace out and keep that Mac cool.